All right, what's up, guys? So welcome to today's lesson. Um, this is a bit of a fun one for me to do. I'm basically chosen five really cool sort of um, easy and fun to play guitar licks that pretty much anyone can pick up, no matter where you're at in the guitar playing journey. These are all recognizable riffs and licks, um, and they're all going to teach us sort of different things about the guitar and about playing. You know, so um, this is perfect for um, a beginner if you're just starting out with a guitar or if you've been playing for a little while and you're sort of beginner intermediate phase as well, this um, lesson's going to be really cool because we're going to cover a number of things in here. So I've got a tab um, that I will post um, to accompany this video um, and you can read along with that. So I'll make sure the download and everything is available and that, you know, the instructions go up on the screen for you guys too. But um, make sure that you obviously, you know, message me, um, you know, you kind of like this video, subscribe or follow me, um, depending on where you see this video as well. Um, so let's get into it, guys. So I've got my guitar here and you should be able to hear a nice clean tone coming out of my uh, my baby, my PRS here. And you... Um, we're going to basically go between looking at the guitar and then obviously kind of the uh, the tab as well. So I'm going to load it up on my end here and have a bit of a look. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start with getting comfortable um, on a single string. And we're going to learn a really cool melody and a, a lick that most of you guys will know. It's a very famous one that teaches us a lot about rhythm. So let's see if you guys recognize this. It goes like this. <laughs> Right, so pretty sort of memorable and famous um, lick there, right? So I'm going to put the tab to it, accompany this. Now, the main thing that this is going to teach you is getting comfortable moving linearly along one string and then hitting some kind of weird offbeat type melodies, right? There's some really cool offbeat stuff that actually happens with this. So this is going to test your rhythm chops a little bit and actually get you used to kind of navigating and playing a bit of rhythm type work on the guitar. Okay, so a couple of tips with this lick. If you're learning it, learn it slow. And when I say slow, it's whatever pace is kind of good for you where you can play it five to ten times without making a mistake. Once you can do that, then you increase the speed gradually until it's at the tempo that the song is at, okay? Now, you might like to invest in a metronome. Um, I've got one here that I've had for a good probably 20-odd years. You don't have to get that one. <laughs> you can uh, look on Google and just type in metronome, and Google has an inbuilt metronome on there as well that you might like to use. But the main thing with this riff is just getting used to the um, the rhythm, the off beats, and, you know, kind of playing along to something on a single string. It's a really good sort of ease um, into guitar playing. Now, the next one brings me back to my youth. Let's see if you guys recognize this lick. <laughs> Alright, so this, I love this lick. It takes me right back to being probably in high school, you know, when Tony Hawk Pro Skater was big. Um, showing my age a bit there, guys. <laughs> uh, but this is a song by Blink-182 and it's a riff um, from the song Damn It. So this is going to start to get you used to navigating across a couple of strings on the guitar. You know, so we've got these bass notes that actually change here. That one changes then. So we're kind of pivoting around, you know, a chord sort of framework here and keeping the same melody in between. That doesn't change. Except for the end. It just reverses. So this is also going to work on your sense of rhythm and timing, but get you used to navigating across the strings rather than just linearly like the first leak actually does. So another really great one to add to your kind of arsenal that hopefully you should enjoy. All right, so that's number two. Let's get stuck into the third riff here, which is a very, very famous classic uh, riff. So let's have a look. Let me try that again. It's okay to make mistakes. All 
All right, so you recognize that one and probably want to sing along to it too. Now, I made a mistake before, and I just want to let you guys know that it's perfectly cool to make mistakes. We live in a weird age where people on Instagram and Facebook and everything post out their best content, and they probably make 100,000 mistakes before finding their very best clip to put out there. It's kind of the world we live in, but it's normal, it's natural to actually make mistakes. But when you make a mistake, you want to do what I just did, you stop so that you don't actually grind the mistake into your playing and into your muscle memory, and then you start again, okay? So, getting into this lick, there's a couple of cool things going on. We're starting to now get into chord-type playing, right? So, this first little part of the lick is actually holding a D major chord on the guitar, right, which you might like to look up. It's not too important with this lesson to know this sort of stuff, but a D major chord, you put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, so you get that note, an A. You put your third finger on the third fret of the second string, so you get a D, and then you put your first finger on the second fret of the first string. You get an F sharp there, and then you play from the fourth string down. You get a nice, pretty D major chord. So. You can actually hold this chord and play these individual notes. Then we want to move to a C add 9. So you move two fingers here. You move your second finger from the second fret of the first string down to the fifth string, the third fret, and then your first finger will come down to the second fret of the fourth string, and you get this. If you strum from the fifth uh, string upwards, you get a C add 9 chord. So then you play these individual strings. And then we move to a G chord. So from the C add 9, you just move your bottom two uh, fingers down to the bottom two strings. So your second finger goes to the third fret on the sixth string. Your first finger goes to the fifth string, second fret, and you get a G chord. And you just hit the bottom string twice beforehand and then that big beautiful G chord. Now there's some cool little licks that happen because that um, little section repeats itself twice as you know from the song. Then we get this um, is the first little lick that happens. So this is all about hammer-ons and pull-offs which might be a new technique to some of you guys but this is why I've introduced it in this uh, lesson if you like. So we take the open fifth string and then we hammer down to the second fret of the fifth string. So it's like a kind of little hammer with your finger without picking it, right? So you get this kind of softer sound. It's actually called legato. Then you do the same thing on the next string, but then you want to pull off. So a pull off is like a flick off the string. So when you land on the second fret like that, you then want to flick your finger down like that and then actually have it kind of rest on the string beneath it if you can see that so then we just basically go back to the fifth uh, string and we play the second fret then the open fourth string then the second fret on the fifth string again so we get so that's the first little tail lick of this sequence the second time we go so it's all pull-offs on the G string. So we play the G string twice. Then we pull off from the second fret, the fourth fret, and the fifth fret. And we've got a couple of open Gs in between. So you guys will need to look at the tab, um, obviously, to make sure you flesh this one out. But it's a really fun song and a great lick. All right, so moving on. I know we're going at a cracking pace today. Um, the next riff is one of my favorites, and um, my favorite band of all time is Metallica. So we're going to learn the intro to Enter Sandman, which sounds like this. It's a great little lick that just repeats itself and gets you used to picking across more strings. And it's a bit of an unorthodox and unusual pattern because your second finger comes down to the sixth fret, on the sixth string here. So pretty straightforward one to read. We've got open sixth string. Then we've got the uh, seventh fret on the fifth string, fifth fret on the fourth string. And then we come down to the sixth string. We play six, five, and then back up to the seventh fret on the fifth string again. So really great exercise for your right hand that's gonna get it moving across strings, okay? 
And now we're, we're saved the best for last. I've included a really fun blues lick here, and I've called it the dad lick because it's a bit of a cliche blues uh, riff, if you like, and it's something that I like to throw in at times as a bit of a tongue-in-cheek or maybe a joke into a solo or if I'm playing with a band or something. Right, so I'm excited to show you guys this one. Now, it goes like this. You've probably heard it before. So this is actually kind of moving now a bit more into lead guitar territory. So, the notes. We're going to go between the G string and the B string, so the third and the second string, and you're going to play 9, 10, 9, then move your... Um, one fret down on the G string, so 8, 10, 8, and then another one fret down, 7, 10, 7, and then you're going to hit the root note, which is the A, on the 7th fret of the 4th string. Then I've included an extra little spicy challenge where we're going to play it down the octave. So we're going to go on the 5th string and the 4th string now, 7, 7, 7, <laughs> across both of, both of them. Move one fret down on the fifth string. Six, seven, six, five, seven, five, and then hit the root note on the sixth string, which is the fifth fret. So that's it, guys. So that's five kick, um, kick ass, easy and fun to play guitar riffs. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson. It's designed to be very sort of quick and bang, you know, kind of like get you moving and get you playing. Uh, that camera's gone off on me now, which is fine because we're done with the guitar element. But if you guys need any help with um, guitar work, if you want to have a look at my website, I've got some great resources. My YouTube channel has some free lessons on there too. And obviously, I teach guitar as well as part of my academy. So have a look at my website. It's cambirdmusic.com. Make sure you follow me on all socials. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. Um, and I've also got my own original music as an artist out there on Spotify, on all the major streaming platforms and services as well, or you can buy direct from me at Bandcamp too. So that's it for today's lesson, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, keep rocking and keep playing, and I'll talk to you all soon.